is Noreen from Joya Cards. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! videos, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Do that. Do that now. And then hit the little bell when it comes up. And what that does is it alerts you when I have a new video posting. So boop, boop. Anyway, so that's how you do that. Anyway, so this is video number three of how to make this card because there's different techniques and if you've missed the first two videos like i said subscribe and go back and look at the other videos because the first video what we did is we made uh, this awesome background using just refill ink and some watercoloring coloring techniques so that was the first video the second video was taking our stamped silhouette here and making it small and that's the second video and now you're on the third video and we're going to put this card together so what we started out with was of course the silhouette scene where we took that image and we made it tiny and that's in video number two you have to go back to that and then we also used life is beautiful for the tree and the sentiment the thinking of you and then uh just the leaves and everything and then we also used uh, stitched rectangle frames we use the largest one so let's go ahead and put this puppy together and what you're going to need is um uh early espresso and just a regular five and a half by four and a quarter card base and then we also need that beautiful piece of paper that we made so let's get out our stamparatus because you do need your stamparatus to make these trees because we are stamping onto something that has a lot of ink on it. So we really watercolored this pretty, isn't that beautiful? So we're gonna take this and take one of the many magnets that I have broken. And it doesn't matter what you have, if you have a Moxie or stampin', Stamparatus, I will break the magnets. Oh, and that's what I forgot to order. So if you need to place an order, here's my site. It's noreenbrungart.stampinup.net. And then my host code is 3SQEAUPX. And that's in the body of my video if you want to look that up. Also, you could go to noreen at joyofcards.com and I can answer any questions or uh, get you to my website as well. So we're going to line this up on our Stamparatus and we're going to take the tree from Life is Beautiful and we're going to line up this tree where we want it. And now here's the example of my card. So I wanted to make sure that uh, the couple here has enough room. So I kind of just lined it up and then try to get as much of the branches on and I did cut off the bottom because there just wasn't enough room and I'm going to show you how to do the other side without doing anything too crazy it's kind of simple especially on the stamparatus so I'm going to put this about right here maybe a little down okay and I'm going to close up my stamparatus and pull it up I'm going to move those magnets over a little bit. If they're too close to the edge here, um, then they uh, will get cut up here. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to grab my early espresso ink. And I am going to ink the you-know-what out of it. Now, even before that, let's grab a piece of scratch paper and try not to mutilate your stamparatus as much as I've already mutilated mine. But I'm a little too late on that one. So let's just, we're going to just ink and ink and ink and ink and ink because there's so much ink on this pretty paper we made that we're going to have to just stamp this. You can see how it's not grabbing at all. Also, I think my early espresso, no, I think my early espresso ink is pretty inked because I don't use it a lot and it's putting a lot on the stamp. It's just that we put so much on, ink on that paper that it's just not grabbing at all. And make sure you get the bottom. I didn't take it down far enough. So I'm going to do this like, I don't know, a dozen times. And I'll be back. You don't need to see me do that in a dozen times. I've stamped this a whole bunch of times. And now I'm going to take my early espresso pen. And if there are some light spots that I want to cover up, then I just fill them in. Just be careful because you just made this beautiful paper and you don't want to go whoopsie and then ruin the whole thing. So 
be very careful or you could just leave it alone i actually didn't do that in my card and it looks fine so now uh, and this is a stamp and write one so anyway now you're going to do yourself a big old favor and you're going to take this whole thing to the sink and wash it and wash your hands because now you're probably covered in a little ink so i'm going to go do that and i'll be right back <laughs> so I washed and dried this all off. Just make sure there isn't any towel lint or anything on it. And then take your um, your background and move it over to the left here. And if you look at this image, when I stamped it, it goes off to my right. Well, that's what it's made to do. So how did I, in this card, make it go to the left? It's easy. You don't have to do any tricks at all. What you do is you take your image like right here. Okay, and you position it where you want it. I think I want it like that to show more trees. Close it up, right? Okay, and then you're gonna take this and pull up the trunk here and just push it the other way. I mean, how easy is that? You don't have to do any mirroring or anything. You just have to get it to go the other direction and just close it up and see if that's how much you want it to go. So I'm gonna just adjust it a little bit because I have it kind of going crazy there and there i'm just gonna adjust the bottom a little bit more and just so it's going the other direction because guess what you can move these things it's not like one of these solid stamps these are clear and i can manipulate it so now it looks like it's going this way there just like that so i've got this down i've got this all um magnet up and i'm going to take my early espresso again and once again, I'm going to ink the you-know-what out of it. So I'm going to ink this about a million times. Oops, we forgot our little scratch paper behind here, just so we don't make a mess. And I'm going to ink this about a dozen times, and I'll be right back. So I even took my Stampin' Write pen and went over some spots that looked a little um, light on the stamp. And instead of filling it here, I put it on the stamp and it seemed to work a little better. So there's another way to do it. So now I've got my both of my trees on. And what are we going to do next? We're going to do ourselves a favor. We're going to take this whole thing off, take it to the sink, wash it, and wash your hands, and then continue. So I'll be right back. I'm back. So now that the, uh, the trunks of the trees are done, we're going to do these leaves. And what I did is I made them kind of fallish kind of leaves. So you got some greens and then you got some oranges and some yellows and I'm actually going to change my yellow from daffodil delight to crushed curry so um, we're gonna do that a little different so you're gonna grab the leaves from life is beautiful here and we're going to arrange them on the stamparatus how we want them I'm gonna do the the middle ones first here and just kind of line them up and close your stamparatus and now we're going to use daubers. So I like to take my daubers, and you can get these, of course, Stampin' Up! too. They're number 133773. And I'm going to use Crush Curry. Now I'm going to put the yellow ones more toward the top here. So I'm not going to do the yellow on the bottom. So I'm going to take my Crush Curry, and I'm just going to daub the stamp. Actually, you could do the whole thing. It doesn't matter because we're going to layer these colors anyway. Okay. And we're going to do this a bunch of times too because we got to really break through that blue. And even if you have to take and refill your ink, I would take uh, the ink refill and um, maybe just put a little dab on the on the pad or directly on the dauber here just to get a little more intense ink out because we've got to plow through those layers of blue so that is my crush curry now i'm going to grab some pumpkin pie and i'm going to dab here now i don't have for whatever reason a refill on my pumpkin pie so another way you can do that is just take your blending pen and the point at the painty end of it and just paint your dauber. So that's a good way of doing it without having to uh, 
you know, worry about it. So that is pumpkin pie. Now I'm going to grab granny apple green. Now I'm going to definitely keep these on the bottom, maybe toward the middle. See how that looks. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my garden green. Now garden green's pretty dark, so I definitely only want these on the bottom. So we're getting different colors of leaves on our tree. So I think that looks pretty darn good. Now I'm going to do myself a favor. I know it's a pain. I'm going to take this. I'm going to wash it the whole thing and I'll be right back. Back again. So you're probably asking yourself, Noreen, why aren't you using your little chamois in your case? The reason why I'm not doing that is because I'm putting so much ink down and I'm, you know, I need to wash it. It, I need to wash the stamp radish and I need to wash me because the worst thing you could do is get it on your project. So I don't mind going to the sink. So now I'm going to take it again and I'm going to do some more leaves here. So I'm going to position this like so and close it up again and do the same exact thing except not so much green because it's more toward the top of the tree. So I don't think we're going to need as much. So I'm going to do that same four colors again and I'll be right back. Back. So I cleaned off my, my stamp and my plate. I have repositioned my design to the other side of my stamparatus. Put it down, put my scratch paper underneath. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the other tree. So I'm going to stamp that all up and I'll be right back. Now that the trees are all done, you have to remember from the beginning, this is not a five and a half by four and a quarter. We made it a little bigger so I could tape everything down and it could go edge to edge. Oh, there's my dog barking. Anyway, so <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this to my trimmer and make it a five and a half, five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Now I've got to cut down to the five and a half by four and a quarter. So I put, took off a little on each side just so I can make it um, all uh, line up correctly. And then I'm gonna just snail the you know what out of the back because this is really heavy uh, watercolor paper. We've got a ton of ink on there. So just snail it up really, really good. And then line it up from the opening, of course, and to your early espresso card base, five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's gonna look like this. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece of crushed curry, also five and a half by four and a quarter. You're gonna take the largest rectangle stitched frame. You're gonna place it in the middle, tape it down gently. Don't put the tape into the middle of this here because we're gonna use it as well and then cut them out so they look like this. So you've just made a frame that'll fit your card and you just made the inside piece for inside the card. So you're gonna take this rectangle stitched frame, grab your silicone craft sheet, and if you don't have a silicone craft sheet, man, if anything, get one. I use this for everything. This is why my workspace is so clean is because of this. I, I glue, I mix colors of inks, I snail, everything is on this craft sheet. I can even do a mirrored image um, from a stamp. It's awesome. So anyway, I've got this all snailed up and we're going to line it up on the card here. And so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Now that I've got my frame on, we're going to be taking that downsized image that we made from video number two, where we took the large stamp and we scaled it down to a smaller one. And you can do go either way. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some snail and just snail this up here, put it in the middle of the card right on top of the frame, okay? And then I'm gonna grab my Stamparatus again because we are inking on this over inked background we need to line this up and put on our sentiment right there. So I'm gonna just line this up. I'm gonna get the stamp, which is also from uh, Be Life is Beautiful, The Thinking of You. And I'm gonna line it up about here, I think. Make sure it's straight. Make sure these magnets are away from the fold of the plate. And we're gonna grab Memento because um, 
the silhouette is black, so we're going to make this one black as well. And we're going to ink that up a whole bunch of times, just like we did with the tree trunks. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. And that's the front of the card. Now let's do the inside and we're going to take that piece from the frame that we made and just nail that up and put it on the inside. Now that you've got that piece inside of the card, we're going to do the same thing to those leaves. We're going to get out our um, granny apple green, our garden green, our pumpkin pie and crushed curry. And we are going to dab that stamp again and uh, go ahead and stamp it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and and you have one shot at it because I'm not using the Stamparatus. So I'm going to do the crushed curry all over and then the pumpkin pie. And this is going to go either way. <laughs> I'm going to put the pumpkin pie over half. And then garden green. No, oh, I'll do the granny apple green. And then the garden green. more granny that's too much garden i've got all those colors on my leaves again here and i'm gonna put this down be careful that all these inks are open so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side and i'll be right back that's the card i didn't put any sentiment inside of it i left it alone and like i said if you subscribe to my youtube channel uh and if you're a first time subscriber write a little comment with your email <laughs> address so i could contact you and you're the first one you'll win the demo card and this was a crazy demo card to do there are three videos there are three different techniques of how to bend the tree without having to do the mirroring thing how to paint the background how to shrink the silhouette image so watch the other two videos if you missed it and that'll do it thanks bye